people of faith, trust, and hope migrated to the United States from a land of beautiful blending of gospel and Indian culture, the Zero Malabar Catholics live in the United States. The Zero Malabar Church is the second largest Oriental church in the Catholic Communion, with close to 3.5 million faithful, of which about 100,000 live in the United States and Canada. India had a Christian community from the very beginning of Christendom through the preaching of St. Thomas the Apostle. The Zero Malabar Church traces its origin to St. Thomas the Apostle, the tradition and faith heritage of 2,000 years. They continue to live and share wherever they go. This is uh, Jamaica Estates. Most of these houses were built uh, immediately after World War II. This is an upper middle class neighborhood. I came to this neighborhood early in 1990s. Before that, I used to live on the other side, near St. John's University, where I teach. But I came to America in the 1960s. And uh, at that time, most of those who came from India were students who were pursuing uh, higher studies, masters, PhD, whatever. I was born and brought up in the Archdiocese of Changanasheri, India. I came to United States in 1968 for higher studies. When I came to this country, I was also looking to practice my own faith and my own liturgical services in Suro Malabar and in our own liturgical services in our culture also. Unfortunately, at that time, we didn't have a kind of Suro Malabar church or a diocese at that time. I was able to go and attend Mass in English in the Latin Rite. But as the community grew here, we people gathered together, tried to have a Suro Malabar church once in a while. And we used to meet uh, periodically as Suro Malabar Christians, Catholics, to talk about our common bond, to discuss our common problems, and of course to socialize and have a good time. When the community grew bigger, we got more opportunity to grow bigger. We were able to form a Zero Malabar community. We came from a long way to this point. Eventually, in 1970s, people came from India to United States looking for better job, better studies. So the community grew. Every month we had Holy Mass in Suro Malabar and that way we were able to attend the liturgical services. This is the first Suro Malabar Catholic Church inside the United States, established in the year 1984 in Dallas. Here we have almost more than 300 families and we have the catechism classes for 300 students and we have got another facility, a multi-purpose building where we have a great hall and uh, classes for the CCD students. Now our parish has over 300 families as members. We have more than 100 kids who attend the religious instruction. Okay, what's your name of your parish? St. Thomas, St. Thomas, St. Thomas, Catholic Church. There you go. And uh, Father Joseph, and the Tivoli Attendees are? Please. Please.